which algorithm you think performs better at image recognition or image classification? Is it TensorFlow with its powerful support from Google or is it IBM this Watson supercomputer? Now, there are many ways to classify images with machine learning. And in this video, we're only going to test these two. So TensorFlow versus IBM Watson. So I'm going to make API calls to IBM Watson using Python. Obviously, this requires an internet connection and API keys. And to get your keys, you can register for free at console.bluemix.net. And you'll be able to make a limited number of free API calls every day. I think it's 250 calls per day, which should be enough for testing purposes. As for TensorFlow, I simply installed the TensorFlow module for Python on my Windows 10. So this is open source and it runs locally, which means you can use it as much as you want. And the Python version that I'm using, as you can see here, is 3.5. Um, so after you've installed TensorFlow, you'll have this file called classify image. Um, dot py and this classifier uses a deep convolutional network called inception which has been trained on the ImageNet 2012 challenge data set and it can classify images into about 1000 classes or categories so i have three images um, in this folder on my desktop a broccoli image a castle image and a swan image and I want to classify them so I already have things set up for this task we're going to try to classify them either with Watson or with TensorFlow I have an extended tutorial on visual recognition with Watson so make sure to check the link in the description because I'm not going to go over these commands here in detail but I basically imported visual recognition from the package. Um, I'm using pretty print to have a better, more visible or more um, a better visualization of the output. And I'm basically creating an instance where I an instance of Watson, where I log in with my API key, which is stored in another file called keys, because I want to keep them private. Um, and for TensorFlow over here, I'm just going to have to specify the uh, path to the image file. Uh, which should be quite simple. You can explore the code for classify image yourself to see um, how it works under the hood. And I'll post a link to, to it in the description as well. Now let's classify these and see which algorithm performs better. So we're going to start with uh, with Watson over here. And first we have to open our file so open I think it's so it's broccoli JPG and we will gonna open it in read binary mode okay now uh, we'll classify we'll try to see what Watson sees so let's say image CLS equals so we're going to use our instance to classify and we'll have our images file to be the image and that's it that should be it okay so it classified it now to visualize the output we're going to use pretty print so we're going to pretty print image CLS. 
so Watson is 88.9% certain that this is broccoli. Okay, let's see TensorFlow. And like I've said, we only have to specify the path to the image. So I think it's image file. Let's try without quotations. And it'll gonna throw a bunch of um, messages, but we're gonna ignore those. And you can see the result here. So TensorFlow is 99.9% .9 certain this is broccoli. So it got a better um, classification compared to Watson. Now let's try on the what else we have in there. Um, the swan picture. So we'll have to open up the swan image swan.jpg in read binary. And we're going to do the same thing image CLS and we're going to pretty print it. So it is 77.6%. Well, actually, is 97% certain that it's about a swan. Now, let's see. What about TensorFlow? So this is swan.jpg. Okay, so TensorFlow sees a black swan, but there is no black swan over here. Actually, it's kind of white. Um, <laughs> it also sees a flamingo with 15% certainty. Well, anyway, let's see our last image, the castle image or the palace or whatever you want to call it. So the same thing we're going to replace here with how did I call this? What's the name? So it's castle JPG. Okay. Classify it and display the results. So Watson is 86.5% this is a palace, 93% this is a building, 74% it's a castle. So I think these are pretty good classification scores. Now what about TensorFlow? So the file is castle.jpg. Seem to be taking a while. So TensorFlow is 95.4% certain this is a castle which I think is quite accurate, more accurate than um, than Watson over here, which only thinks which is only 74.5% certain that this is a castle. So I think both of them did well for this one and not as good for the swan while the broccoli was quite easy to classify. So which one of these two would would you think is better? What would be the final decision? Um, I personally think, um, I don't know, should it be a final decision? I think both are good and I could see the case for using them together or along with 
other machine learning image classifiers to get better results. You don't have to be exclusive. Okay, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching.